Kang over. Kang <laughs> over. Well, we don't know, basically. What's the story here? Uh, we've got statements about what's happening in the Marvel Cinematic Universe and moving, moving forwards, right? So Michael Waldron is working on both Kang Dynasty and Secret Wars for Marvel Studios. Um, and now it's confirmed that Jeff Loveness is gone, done, which is kind of confirmed a long time ago anyway. But now it's sort of like doubly confirmed. And then there's the rumor that they're moving away from Kang. So here's some of the statements. This is from Joanna Robinson, who uh, did that MCU, the Reign of Marvel Studios book. She which is taken book. everything by storm. She said this on the House of R podcast. I heard from someone recently, the screenwriter Jeff Loveness, who wrote Quantumania, was supposed to write the Kang Dynasty. Anyway, it's confirmed. I had it confirmed to me he's no longer working for Marvel. I asked the person why, and they said the reason why is he was all wrapped up in this Kang storyline, and they're likely going to be moving away from that. So there's the kind of rumor of no more Kang. Um, and it's not the first time like we've heard this time and time again. Loads of people have said that. It's been two yeah. months of rumbling at this oh, point about this. Yeah, it's been a lot. And the fact, I mean, Michael Waldron working on this is pretty big. Now, uh, Michael Waldron wrote Loki season one. Um, and uh, so we, we, we don't know what's happening moving forwards with any of this stuff. But there was some kind of comments uh, from uh, Kevin Wright. So this individual revealed... Uh, whether Jonathan Major's legal issues changed any, changed anything for Loki's finale, and they obviously you know he's been working on this stuff basically. Uh, says no, nothing affected our finale. Uh, I think I said elsewhere earlier when the show was first coming out, the story that is on screen is the one that we set out to make. Is that's actually not true though because we that's, they, yeah. we confirmed that they reshoot, rewrote, and reshot episode five. Uh, remarkably, so no one was coming down telling us we had to connect or set up anything for the future. Uh, it was sort of a finish our story that we started. Now, there's how it ends. There's sort of a the there's sort of a tease that Kang might be done now with Lo when Loki season two ends. So as part of where it's all going, I can't say and not because I'm coy. We're not a part of those projects, but I would say I mean I know Michael Waldron is working on them and he loves obviously this world as he helped create it, because he did, obviously, season one. Now, he says this, and no, I mean, the threat that we establish at the end of this multiversal war will come. Sylvie is just saying, let us have a chance. So I hope that people continue to run with that, because I would love to see what that story is. But we're not really sure, because the end kind of teases that Kang might be done as well. Because literally... If no, if no one's seen Loki season two, the end of Loki season two, Loki becomes the god of stories and he's liter literally the center of the universe, literally the center of the multiverse, sitting on a throne at the center of the multiverse. So surely he can just to anything and anyone. He can travel through time. He can do whatever he wants now. Kang might be out is the rumor. And this is not a stretch. You know, they binned off people for less, significantly less. And Kang, Jonathan Majors, has been a pretty big thorn uh, in Marvel's side. But anyway, I've talked enough. Culture, you go. I have no reason to believe that we will see Kang <clears throat> after this season finale of Loki season two. I have no reason to, that, to believe that we'll see him. They're reshooting everything. And when I say everything, I mean everything. They're it's reshooting like, everything. Again. It's been delayed by nine months, hasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. I, people don't believe me when I say this. No. They're starting from scratch with Captain America 4. However, that's going to play out. We don't it's even know Captain if it's going to be Falcon. We don't even know if it's going to be Falcon Cap. We don't, we don't know. Mm. We don't. We, they've, they've had to massively restructure so many different things. Mm -hmm. Um, Daredevil born again, born again, born again, born again, born again is, uh, going to be born again. And you're going to get that. That's being completely from the ground up read on. Um, and that's a TV show. 
Um, the only thing that we're on the hook to see for sure is this dumb Echo show. Oh, yeah. That's it. Everything else is being reworked. Reworked. Yeah. I mean, and that includes, you know, uh, even some animation that had been scheduled in the next two years. So it's, I, I don't believe we'll see Kang again. I, I have no reason to believe they will put more money after bad. Number one. Um, I have no reason to believe that they, they have any interest in returning to that, especially with his legal issues. I don't know. What do you think, Nick? Uh, Kang, you know, going back and looking at the, at the first couple phases of the MCU with Thanos, he was constantly teased and mentioned and had quick shots. It was a buildup. This Kang thing is just such a letdown. Like it's, it's like it never, it hasn't even gotten started. Um, it's, I to me it was a complete waste of time for them to try to go in this direction with him. He's he to me he's not the same kind of threat as Thanos is. Uh, I definitely think they should move away from him. Doom would Doctor Doom would definitely be better. There's rumors of that going around. Yeah, <laughs> uh, we'll see what happens. But uh, yeah, for me uh, the Kang thing it never even got off the ground. Uh, you know, in, in with all the interconnectivity with the Disney plus shows, like you gotta go do your homework and watch, keep up with all these shows and then the movies mm -hmm. and all that sort of stuff. You know, it wasn't like that with the MCU, you know, their TV and show universe needs to be completely separate, just like how they did with Netflix. Uh, just like they did with agents of shield, Agents of the Shield never had any direct tie-ins or anything like that. They and they did a good job on that. I kind of fell off the bandwagon in the later seasons of Agents of Shield, but but uh I like that show. Um uh but yeah, th I think they need to keep those completely separate and keep the cinematic universe its own thing. You know, there's so many characters out there that they could go do shows on and all that sort of stuff. And then if if those become big characters, then you just introduce them and plug them into the cinematic universe. You know, you don't have to go watch all the shows. You just introduce them. This is the character. And there might be some small things that, that uh, you'll get if you watched all the shows, but it's not required uh, material, you know, to know anything yeah. about Kang and all this, you got to go watch Loki. You got to see, uh, you know, Ant-Man, you got to uh, see in the quantum mania and all that. And you got to watch uh, Loki season two. You got to do all this stuff to make all these connections and understand what's happening. And a lot of people just aren't going to take the time to do all that. And they're going to lose interest. And I think that's where we're at in uh, this latest phase of the MCU. Yeah, I think I agree with all of that. Massively <clears throat> agree with all of that. And like I said, you know, I mean, they've got rid of Kang. Uh, got rid of Kang. They've got rid of previous actors for much, much less than Jonathan Majors. Mm -hmm. And now what I mean by that is just rumors and rumblings. Yeah. He's not had his day in court yet. He's always had a day in court. A few, but he's not, you know, uh, been formally found guilty of anything. But Disney's got rid of people for significantly less. So well, just wouldn't be a surprise if they get rid of him. Yeah, just the hint or the inkling of what Johnny Depp may have was accused of, you know, mm. got him ousted from pirates, even though it had not. Yeah, yeah. yeah I don't like using court. that. I don't, I don't like using that as a comparison because then people use that to 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 say that Jonathan Majors is is being falsely accused, etc. So I try to I try never to use that as. Oh, a, I well, I'm just saying. Stuff. I mean, it's the accusation. The reason that I brought it yeah. up is because it's just no, an accusation. Right. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, you're right. No, I agree with you. It's not a fun one, but yeah. Yeah. Well, there you go. There well, you did, did, go. Did, did you find the clip at the bottom of the thing? I did. I'm about to. Okay. I've got I've got to move away from one to slide into another. You <laughs> but is it did, did we get That's a there. super about how excited everybody is for Kang? I, I, I'm kind of bummed out. Nobody was excited for Kang. I'm what? sad. Super, no. what do you mean? 
I, well, I was hoping somebody would send a super about Kang because everybody loves Kang. They were going to tell us oh, we're wrong. No. I don't think anyone cares about Kang. Oh. No, no one's going to send a super chat to defend Kang. Oh, at all. exactly. That was my point of what I was talking about a minute ago. <laughs> <laughs> like, nobody cares about Kang, you know. Who's Kang? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the chat. Well, 